Minister Kulang said the responsibility for tourism development is a shared one. He said provincial governments and district development authorities need to understand that they play a key role and need to develop their own tourism plans for the provinces and the districts. The Tourism Zone Initiative is the national government's effort in lifting the profile of PNG as an ideal tourist destination. This will be the forerunner in our selling tourism in Papua New Guinea. So that means the hotel and hospitality, roads, the security, the energy, the communication network, all of this has to be there. In May, Minister Kulang attended the first World Conference on Tourism for Development Summit Forum in Beijing, China, where the United Nations declared 2017 as the year of sustainable tourism development. Okay, that is emanating from the fact that 2015 tourism uh, contributed 10% to GDP. Okay, global. global. Uh, like Fiji, it's 35%. Some others like higher than 10%. So we are in a world where tourism is seriously contributing to uh, uh, countries' growth in terms of economic contribution. It's 10% on average. And in PNG, it's a mediocre 2% when we've got so much to offer. He commended Kokopo and the East New Britain provincial government and stakeholders for advancing their master plan. Minister Kulang and his team will be in Alotau this week to ensure they are well into their tourism master plan development. The minister will also be sending out teams this week across the seven Highlands provinces to account for the region's tourism products and destinations. We are going to host uh, probably the first time biggest tourism conference in, in the Highlands in Mount Hagen. We would like to advise the community that especially those places that we are going, uh, we want the uh, stakeholders to start to rise up and see uh, the new direction tourism is taking in this country. He said the Tourism Development Initiative will ensure PNG comes on par to capture the opportunities that international tourism is providing in terms of contribution to economic growth, job creation and poverty alleviation. He said key stakeholders and donor agencies are keen to support the cause. Minister Kulang thanked the World Bank for coming on board and pledging support to the tune of 20 million US dollars to assist the initial three tourism hubs. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.